Good evening, my viewers. This is George on deck with another one of my slice of pizza shows. I mean, slice of life shows. I'm here in beautiful Cortland Manor, New York, with the owner of a, well, I'm going to call it their grand opening and fundraiser for the Cancer American Cancer Society. I'm with Chris Wiseman. Wiseman, the owner of this pizza upper and crust pizza and wings upper crust pizza and wings here on 202 in the old Todman Plaza yes uh, Chris the thing that brought attention to me to you is today that you're pr you're gonna give all of your dough that you make to the American Cancer Society yes we're donating hundred percent of sales today to the American Cancer Society um, you know charities as well as small businesses and you know people hurt during the winters so uh, this was a brutal winter for us. So uh, we just wanted to do something to kind of kick off the spring and to uh, you know kick off the fundraising. And I read quite a bit about you in a local newspaper. That's when I became aware of you, uh, the Examiner, yes. that you do a lot for the community and for the young people in the community. Yeah, I feel very fortunate to have a business in this great community. And uh, I've lived here about 10 years. I, uh, I've coached uh, Cortland American Little League uh, baseball teams for about six years. And uh, unfortunately, every year you see a couple parents, um, you know, go through uh, cancer treatments. And it's, it's just very heartbreaking seeing the kids have to deal with that. And, uh, you know, it's just something that we could do to give back a little bit. It's a very sorrowful thing. I had a cameraman who worked with me whose mom passed away of yeah, cancer. I heard about that, yes. yes. And, and the mayor of Peatskill, my good friend Frank Catalina, his wife passed away from cancer. So cancer is a brutal, brutal thing, and both of them were in their 50s. Absolutely. Um, um, at this fine pizza restaurant here, who do you have working for you? I hear somebody pretty famous. Oh, yes, I have uh, Matteo. Matteo. Matteo owned uh, St. Lucia's down on uh, Washington Avenue for about 30 years. It was right. a very successful uh, pizzeria, and he's uh, actually kind enough to help me out and give me a hand here. I got to tell you a little story. When I originally came to Peatskill about 26 years ago, and I live in Society Hill too, I was looking for a good pizza restaurant because I'm from Yonkers, and there's a lot of pizza restaurants, especially Julio's on Park Hill Avenue. Uh, so we happened to go down to Washington Street and met Matteo, and what delicious sauce he makes, what delicious food he makes. And you are very lucky to have him. And he's a bit of a character as well. Well, that helps. I'm a bit of a character. Yes, absolutely. And I was here last night for a little while, and I saw you had captains of Little League teams, and uh, yeah, you're very community-minded. Yeah, you know, anything I can do. They uh, actually hold some meetings here. They held a, a board meeting last night for the Cortland American Little League, yeah. and uh, it's a little bit... Uh, a little bit nicer area than the, than the clubhouse, and the, they, of course, can get some good food. And I, I think they volunteer their services, right? Oh, yes, everything's you, volunteer. Don't you also volunteer for the Little League? Oh, yes, everything's volunteer. Yeah, that's what the whole league is run on is volunteers, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of great guys that put in a lot of time and effort with the kids, and uh, it's, a, it's a really great bunch of uh, people to be around. Okay, then let's go inside and see you throw some pizza dough up in the air and see if you're really a, 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 an old-time pizza maker. Let's do it. Okay. I'm now about to have some delicious food here at Upper Crust Pizza. And who's this uh, waitress, Tara? Sarah. Sarah? How you doing, Sarah? I'm good today. What are you How serving you? me now? Cream of mushroom soup. Cream of mushroom soup? And yeah. is it really delicious? Yeah, it's really good. And who made the cream of mushroom soup? Um, our chef, Bob. And is it homemade? Homemade, completely. Okay. What other specialties do you have here? That, that he has that you really recommend to my viewers? Um, I definitely recommend the wings. The wings? And any of the pizza, obviously. Really? What kind of specialty pizzas does mm, he The make? margarita, chicken bacon ranch with Cape Cod oh, chips. I got one just in case he doesn't have it. Uh, Kabasi pizza. If mm -hmm. he doesn't make that, tell him I want that in the future. Okay. For okay? some Czech and Polish and Russian. And I just had that recently. Mm -hmm. And another one corned beef pizza. Oh, that sounds Saint good. Patty's. That sounds good. So you enjoy working here for yeah. Mr. Weissman? Yep. yep. I love it. Okay, let me let me just try this soup here. Now this is cream of mushrooms and I'm a big soup connoisseur. I like soup too. Mmm, delicious. Magnifique. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for Enjoy. serving me. Okay, bye now.
I'm now with the owner of the uh, pizza place here, Upper Crust Pizza. Uh, you're going to show us how a pizza's made now, is that true? Sure. And do you have a lot of experience in making pizzas? A couple it's, of days. I think more than a couple of days. You've yeah. had one or two pizza places before this, couple. right? So what are you doing now with the pizza dough? Uh, you're making the pizza fly, huh? And does that give it a better taste? No, that, all it does is, uh, <laughs> actually back in the 20s, yeah. when uh, pizzerias were trying to compete with like hot dog and uh, right. you know, hamburger vendors, they used to put the pizza guy in the window, he'd throw up the pizza just to attract the customers. That's why he yeah, did it? Yeah, does absolutely nothing for the pizza. Sometimes it actually makes holes in the pizza. Now, I've got a question about you about pizza. Yeah. Was it really developed in Italy or was it invent invented in New York City? I have no idea either, but New York City pizza is pretty good in Yonkers and the Bronx. Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. So you, besides making pizza, you make spaghetti and meatballs, lasagna and all them other good stuff. Oh yeah, stuff. we have about uh, 25 flavors of wings. Now, uh, do you have delivery service? Yes, delivery all day, every day. Free Plays, delivery? Free delivery, yes. Okay, and you have specials. How's your wings, by the way? Wings I'm are a, very good. I'm a big wings man. Yes, we have wings and uh, press. Okay. Very good. I like legs and thighs but on chicken, but that's something different. There you go. Okay, uh, nice talking to you. And, Thank uh, you very much. Looks like your, your food is delicious. I just, I've been here, I've tried your pizza, I've tried your sauce, and I've just tried your cream of mushroom soup out of this world. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I'm now here with a satisfied customer of Upper Crust Pizza, Joanne Patterson. How are you doing, Joanne? I'm doing great. How are you? Joanne, you've been here before. I what have. are your specialties that you like? You know, my favorite is the margarita pizza. Margarita? Is it from Margaritaville? Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> and the chicken bacon ranch is really good Why here. do they call it margarita pizza? Ooh, George, that's a good question. Do you um, know? Do you know the answer? No, I don't. Um, hmm. I know they got a nice Margaritaville in uh, Atlantic City, uh, but but uh, I didn't know they had a Margarita Pizza. Yeah, Margarita Pizza, the Chicken Bacon Ranch too, uh -huh. is delicious. And right behind you, I see a bunch of delicious um, desserts here: cannolis. Um, oh yeah. And other good Italian uh, dishes. Uh, do you partake in some of their? Um, uh, you know, Desserts? I, I've had the brownie and I've had the blondie, and they're both very, very good. What about the redhead? You know, I haven't had the redhead. There's a redhead over there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe today's but the day. But you know what? I can't partake in any of them. You know why? Why? I love all that, but I'm in a greatest loser contest, and I'm winning. Are you really? In eight weeks, I've lost 20 pounds. Good for but you. But as soon as the next two weeks are over, I'm going to come over here and mind you. So should I now hide I, these? Should I stand in front of these? <laughs> yes, hide. <laughs> oh, hey, Joe, Joey. Joey, come Hey, George, how you doing? I'm now here with a satisfied customer. What's your name, sir? Hey, Joe Pisano. Joe Pisano, you from Peekskill? Yeah, I'm from Peekskill. And this is in Cortland, so this little business goes from Peekskill, Cortland, Yorktown. Everybody can enjoy oh, pizza, absolutely. right? Oh, absolutely. These guys are great. How do you like the food here? The food is wonderful. I oh. have a couple of favorites. Well, what, are, what are you ordering tonight, I'm Joe? I'm getting the uh, boneless chicken wings with a spicy, sweet, uh, Asian sweet and spicy sauce. Uh huh. Margarita pizza and a chicken palm pizza. No, I asked other people. Margarita pizza is yeah. that from Margaritaville, or uh, is that got a little I something think you in it? I gotta order that cocktail separately. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, <laughs> Joe Pisano. Yes. Pisani or Pisano? Pisano. <laughs> Satisfied customer. Absolutely. Thanks, Joe. I'm now here with one of the guests of honor. Ex-Councilman Bill Schmidt from Peetzkill. And what is your current title, Bill? I'm on the Westchester County Human Rights Commission. And he's also here with the owner of... Uh, Upper Crest Pizza and Wings. Chris? Chris Wiseman. Chris, um, uh, what do you think of uh, Councilman Schmidt coming by today to honor you for what you're doing for breast oh. cancer? Not breast, all cancer. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's great. You know, it really shows that, uh, you know, people come out for good causes. And I really appreciate him coming out and, uh, and supporting us. It's a big honor. Bill, what do you think of him? Wait till you hear this statement, giving all of his dough today to American Cancer Society. I think in these tough economic times that that's an absolutely wonderful gesture and you deserve many kudos and plaudits for what you're doing. 
And Bill, I can attest, because I've been here before, that the food is delicious here. One of his chefs ran, what was the name of the restaurant again? Santa Lucia. Santa Lucia. I remember for it very about well. 30 years. Yep. Me and my wife. That was used a very to go good there. restaurant. And he, he's the chef here who assists him, but he's the main chef. Good. What do you have that's low calorie? I have, <laughs> we have great broccoli robin grilled chicken. Good, that's and good. And I actually have uh, a bunch of things that I do for uh, the people on the, the paleo diet, uh, which is all protein and low uh, carbs. We, uh, you can take a bunch of toppings, say like, you know, you pick five toppings, five vegetables, five meats. You toss with a little bit of garlic and oil, maybe a pesto or a marinara. And that's actually very healthy. So, George, is there's something listeners? on there that puts a flare, Sean? I think near the bottom. I'm not sure, but... Um, so, George, let your listeners know that if they're on a diet, they can come here as well as to have a slice of pizza if they're not. Bill, how come you're putting me down? My <laughs> listeners? You mean my, wa my watchers? I'm yes, on television. yes. Um, do you also have a vegetable pizza? Oh, absolutely. It's one of our biggest sellers. All right, Bill, we want to thank you for coming my by. My pleasure, George. Ex-Councilman Bill Schmidt and, once again, the owner of... Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Schmidt for coming out as oh, well. Thank pleasure. you very much. Good luck here. Thank, thank you. you. I'm now closing at the, out the show tonight um, at... Upper Crest Pizza and Wings. And we had a great night here. Here's the chef here, and I know him from 25 years ago when I first came to Peekskill. And what fine restaurant did you have? Santa Lucia Pizzeria. And now you make the sauce here. No, no, I just give you a hop. Uh, Chris, yeah, no. make Chris, Chris is the sauce maker. Yes, yes. Well, I had their pizza tonight, last night, and it was delicious. Now I got to try the spaghetti and the meatballs and the lasagna. Absolutely. So, Chris, once again from the community, thank you for what you're doing for charities. Oh, my pleasure. What you do for the Little League and what you did tonight for um, the American Cancer Society. My pleasure. We don't know what the total is. It'll be tomorrow sometime, but I know they appreciate everything you did. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And thank you. You're welcome. Kesarich. Kesarich. And manja. <laughs> Until next time, when the stars hit your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore, and come to Upper Crust Pizza in Cortland Manor. George Ondek signing off till next week. This is George on deck doing his latest show, and as, in, as an introduction to the latest show, I have Alexa O'Rourke with me from the JV Mall. Hi, George. Thank you so much for having me on the show today. We're really excited. The Easter Bunny is here at the Jefferson Valley Mall. We just wrapped up our Caring Bunny event, and this evening we will be hosting Pet Photo Night with the Easter Bunny. So all are welcome to bring their pets and their dogs and kittens along to take photos with our favorite bunny, the Easter Bunny. And Alexa, how long will the Easter Bunny be here at the JV Mall? The Easter Bunny will be here until next Saturday, the day before Easter. So we have about one more week left, and he's here throughout the day, during the week and the weekend, up until next Saturday. The mall is always doing great events, and I'm very happy to publicize the fact that the Easter Bunny, how you doing, Easter Bunny? You don't have to talk, but you're going to leave me a few eggs and a chocolate bunny for my grandchildren? Thank you, Easter Bunny, and welcome to the JV Mall. Thank, thank you. you so much, thank you Alexa. Very much. Okay, thank Thanks. you. Good evening, my viewers. This is George on deck. I'm doing another one of my slice of life shows. Today I'm in beautiful um, Cortland Manor, New York, on Crompon Road, and I'm doing a show with uh, Michelle Lisa Hair Salon, which is celebrating their third anniversary. And we're also um, raising money for Support Connection, which is a fine organization that raises money for women who have breast, breast cancer. And we're at um, Michelle Lisa's hair salon, and it's a unisex salon. They serve men as well as uh, as ladies. And I'm here with um, 
Jessica. Jessica, who's going to be my hairdresser today and hairstylist. Yes. She'll give me a haircut. And with Amber. Amber, and what will you be doing for me as the full treatment today? Uh, you'll uh, be Amber. getting a shampoo followed by a little head massage and wow. some relaxation. What service? When my wife sees this, I might get divorced. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Okay, so let's start with the treatment. Then. Let's do it. And this is all for Support Connection today, which is a fine organization that helps with the prevention of breast cancer with women. Okay, awesome. so we'll get the show on the road. Let's do it. So I'm at the start of the treatment at Michelle Lisa's hair salon. I have Amber with me and she's about to shampoo my hair. Amber, how is my hair for a guy who's 39 plus? <laughs> Very nice. Really? Nice and thick. Is it thinning or anything like that? Or? Oh, you're all right. And usually I come here, I get a coloring, but we're not going to do that today because it would take a long time and we're yeah. just shooting a uh, half hour show. But the first stage of treatment is to get a shampoo by Amber or someone else. Yes. And uh, that's part of the total package. Is that correct? Correct. Uh -huh. Well, now on the next stage, I've had my hair shampooed. And I'm now with Jessica, another fine hair stylist here at uh, Michelle Lee's how are you doing today, Jessica? Great, how are you? Uh, fine. Today I would like to have a trim. Okay. I think you could trim about a quarter of an inch in my Sure. Hand. You just want to shape up what we already have? Yeah, yeah. I'm not quite sure, but I want to sort of shape it up. Okay, uh, perfect. When was your last haircut? Uh, about a month and a half ago. Okay, so, so this is a little longer. Yeah, yeah. I don't want it too short. No. And I'd like to push my hair forward. Okay. You like it to wear it more, yes. more forward like this? Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So we'll give you a nice shaping all around and clean it up. Jessica, how do you like working here for Michelle? Lisa, isn't she a wonderful person? I love it. I've been coming here for many years. I understand that she'll be here almost three years pretty soon. We've got a fine clientele. And you serve men as well as women, is that true? Yeah, we have children as well. Children as well. Yeah. How about wedding parties? Absolutely. We do a lot of um, wedding parties. We were just um, created as, uh, uh, for the best on um, not the website for a wedding here oh, wow. uh, for 2014. Wow, in Westchester? Yeah. Wow, that's quite an honor. Yeah. We work hard for our yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So for a guy who's 39 plus, I don't think you look at here. Absolutely. No, not at all. Oh, it's all the nice yeah. hair. My dad has passed away in the 70s, mm -hmm. so I had a full head of hair. Wow. And I'm so shocked when I see a young guy from the day to the day to the day to the day to the day. And I never fear for the law, and I know a lot of guys can do some modern on it, but I like hair on it. Yeah. And the planner's side you're very sparse here. It's 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 no, I cut his name here. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I recently did a grand opening on my TV show in Memphis. Well, no, it's in North Carolina. It's a 14 hours to get there. It's a nice little town. Nice, yeah. It's very fast in North Carolina. Almost South Carolina, but it was a 14 hour drive. Oh, yeah. That feels like South Carolina. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
My son has to just grow up and take the flight yeah. 20 years down to seaside, yeah. high seaside, or the whole lava land. The ocean is beautiful there. Yeah. 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 I think it was a Jersey girl, we just saw the show, Jersey Boys, and that's a great show. Oh, I wanted to see this. My wife and I saw Frankie Valley when he was younger, and I was truly amazed how good the he does the play, he creates everything. Really? That's impressive. So it's a good thing that uh, Michelle is doing today. Part of the proceeds she's donating to the support connection, which is a breast cancer awareness that helps people. In the back, I used to like my hair and my straight on. You don't remember guys like Elvis Presley like that. Have you heard of hair. How'd you like your sideburns? Oh god, a little too much. Michael, do you still have the sideburns? My, my apparently has sideburns. Still got them. Young Elvis. <laughs> Mike the look at. So how do you like Westchester County? I like it. It's very similar to where I'm from. Uh -huh. so, okay. And I have an uncle from New Jersey. Oh, okay. He's a lion heavyweight champ of the world. Yeah. Uh, he passed away many years ago. And he was way back in the 1940s. And he was just blessed with it. And he was a uh, step below heavyweight champion. He's a lion heavyweight champion. Wow. Oh, okay. That's an achievement. Yes. Oh, and it's black yeah. I hate those things. So you have a lot of yeah, nice stylists working here. I see an old friend of mine here, Abigail. Hi, Abigail. Yeah. How are you doing? Uh -huh. <laughs> so you enjoy um, doing the yeah. nice hair and you enjoy serving people yeah. and making them look beautiful. Right? Oh, wow. Now, do people have to make appointments to come? Yes. Appointments are recommended, but we do take walk-ins. Uh, but it's best to make an appointment. Yeah, definitely. Especially we're coming into a busy season. Yes. A lot of us, we book up quickly. Yeah. Oh, pretty soon prom season. Yeah, prom, wedding season. How about bachelorette parties? Can you do bachelorette parties? Yeah, definitely. I noticed when my wife and I go to Paris and Atlantic City uh -huh. on weekends, there's a lot of bachelorette parties yes. there. So you can do a whole party. Absolutely. And do you know a phone number where they can reach you if they want to make an appointment with you? Uh, what, what is the number people can call? I have to double check. Okay. Let me see. Amber, Amber, could you just grab me a card real quick? Yes. A business card? Yeah. And also a website for yeah. people if they want to um, know more about. Definitely. Oh, you want to come over for a minute? For a minute? For just one minute. One minute. Right next. Yeah? Okay. All right. The owner of the salon has just come over, Michelle Lisa. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. I know you're you. very busy right yes, now. Yes, very busy. But we want to talk to you for just a minute. Okay. Uh, Jessica's doing my hair. We really salute you for what you're doing today. You're also doing this as a benefit yes. to support connection. Yes. And I want to be the first person who contributes to a little thing where you're having a raffle today where a person could get a hairstyle and yes. haircut. I'm going to put $10 in, and we want other people to contribute yes, as please. they come in. That would be and great. Are you also celebrating your third anniversary? Our fourth. Our fourth? Yep. July. I've been coming about two years yes. from now. But this is Michelle Lisa, which yes. who is? Malazzo. Malazzo, and she's the owner of this farm. Yes. Hair salon for ladies and men. Yes, everyone. And Jessica's mm -hmm. doing a great job. Amazing. She's wonderful. We'll see you in a little yes. more. We Thank know you. Thank you. Enjoy your cut. Okay. <laughs>
We're here at Michelle Lisa's Beauty Salon and Hair Styling Unisex Salon, yes. actually. You do yes. men as well as women. Yes. And what is your last name again, Michelle? Malazzo. Michelle, Michelle, Lisa, how long have you had your salon here? Um, we're approaching four years. So this is like almost your fourth anniversary yes. we're celebrating. Yes. Plus, you're doing a very good thing today. You're are contributing part of your proceeds today to Support Connection. Correct. And I have Kathy Quinn with me, the Director uh, of Support Connection. Oh, well, good morning, George, and good morning, Michelle. Thank you very much for having us here today. We really appreciate it. I know you have done things in the past to help Support Connection, where we help people with breast and ovarian cancer. Yes. And by you helping us out, we're really great, and we love to have you part of what we call our Community Partners Program. And Michelle is kind enough to give a portion of the, her proceeds today to your organization, correct. is that correct? Plus, they're going to have a raffle here today for a hairstyle and a yes. haircut. Yes. And I want to be the first one to make a little contribution to it. Thank you, George. And uh, we hope many Thank people you. do. Thank and you. Well, I'm going to sign my name. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to win, but yes. if I do, I will donate it to someone else. Yes. Oh, thank you for so that. So I think thank that's you. really great thank you're you. doing thank this. You. I'm a client of, of uh, Michelle's here, yes. and they do a great job on both women and men's hair. And as you can see, it's a Saturday morning, and this place is full. <laughs> so again, I thank you. Thank you, and, George. Uh, and, and thank you very much for helping us. And you like the place so much, you, you're already going to start getting your hair yes, done. I'm going to get my hair done. And you have to tell all the women now in Yorktown and the surrounding area what a great salon this is. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so again. much. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you much. Thank you. I'm back again with Michelle Lisa. We've had a um, great dear yes. day here at the uh, Michelle Lisa Hair Salon. Yes, yes, um, Michelle Lisa Salon. It's been a great salon. day for Support Connection. Yes, And what do thank you have you. to say to my vast audience, Michelle? Oh, thank you everybody so much for contributing. And, and for coming And for by. coming by the salon. And thank you. And if people want to come by and visit you or make appointments with you, what phone number should they Sure, 914-737-1227. And is there a website yes, you can be Yes, visit us on? at michellelisasalon.com. And they also can see this on YouTube yes. by hitting George Ondek and Michelle Lisa Salon and on my vast cable TV network, Cablevision, which it shows in about 40 cities. So till next time, yes. everybody be beautiful. Come Thank to yes. Michelle Lisa Salon and, and yes. uh, maybe the beauty be with you. Yes. <laughs>